OGSQRadio.com. <laughs> All right, I gotta put. What is that sample? That sample? Uh, shoot. I I I actually can't even remember. I go through so many like I chop a lot of samples, a lot of different songs. So. So what happens when you have to you have to pay though, dog? Like, you know what I mean? Like that multi-billion dollars? Cause I could be like, you know what? <laughs> I actually um, that's my uh from my album I dropped in '82, and I come collecting fucking. <laughs> How do you remember, dog? Or that, that you let the lawyers take care of that shit? Yeah, all the time, you know. Hey, you know I got, got stacks ready for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, no, I I mean I know it's a, like illegal and stuff like that, but it's that's not what I'm thinking about. You know, I'm just I want people to hear what I can do. So it's uh, uh, you know I feel like that's the way everyone starts. You know, that's the way I started all sample based music and. I still continue to do it because so, I so records, CDs. What where are you pulling the samples from? Like everything, you know. I um I enjoy pulling from records a lot just because it's you know the process of it all is really uh, satisfying. Yeah. But you know I'll take from CDs, um, TV. Do Do you radio. keep the records after you sample them? Do you have like collector or nah? Just... Yeah. I, now just recently, probably about a year and a half ago, I really started getting serious about collecting. Um, what what do you collect? Like collect, what? I go like, collect a lot of like jazz, uh, like old like eighties R and B from like Devo, Jimi Hendrix, uh, uh, <laughs> trip, hop. Uh, trip hop, and just like in general like everything. That's where, where, and where where do you buy your records? How, like how do you pick? Since that genre, it's like no specific genre. How do you um, pick a record? A lot of times, uh, lately I've been going to a couple places. Uh, there's this really good spot on York Boulevard called Gimme Gimme Records. Uh -huh. And uh, they have a really good selection of uh, jazz jazz records that, you know, I can't find anywhere like in like around uh, Northeast LA. So I'll go there, but um, sometimes I'll even just pick up a record from a dollar bin just because I like the album art and just see where that takes me. <laughs> Straight up, real shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Shit. Uh, my name is Mike T, uh, soundcloud.com slash Mike T323. Um, from Northeast Los Angeles. Um, been making beats for three years. And uh, yeah. Producer, right? Yes. Producer. Producer. Uh, guess you can call me a music musician i'm transitioning into that so what's the transition just learning uh everything um actually learning how to play chords and uh record in real time and um just learning how to read music you chop yeah. up a lot of samples what what um what do you what kind of music do you prefer to chop up man when you're sampling throwing in the sampling um uh, my favorite um probably jazz music just because um the whole process I'll sit there and listen to a song and it's I'm not even really thinking about sampling yet but I'll sit there and if you know I'll find I'll just sit there listen you know vibe out sometimes yeah. I'll even fall asleep listen to a record but 
if there's uh, like a part in there that like hits a chord, you know, gives me chills, I'll probably take that piece, you know, from that jazz record or something. When you're sampling and you're, are you trying to to disguise it? Like I'm gonna flip it so they don't know what it is or not? Nah, does it? Um, when I first started, I didn't really think about that. I just wanted to f chop shit and just didn't care. But now, now that's the goal. It's just uh, so no, even the person who made it doesn't even know where it came from. And, and you DJ <laughs> or you were a DJ? Um, I'm am starting to DJ a lot more. It's uh, I started producing and uh, over time, you know, people started wanting me to play shows, so I had to kind of learn and. Uh, you know, so I'll go and it's still all a learning process. Can you perform live like on the MPC? Like, do you do that or not? Nah? I've done that. Uh, I remember one time I, uh, I I work off uh, MIDI keyboards and stuff like that. So I'll have okay. the beat pads and stuff like that, but it's all run through a program. But I've done it where, uh, you know, like I'll DJ like this and I um, my laptop crashed. So I remember taking my entire desktop and a couple keyboards and just got down live <laughs> and people didn't care you know they were like that's dope <laughs> so, I, and the thing about it too is like oh man this dude fucking this was nah my shit broke i wanted to use the other shit but <laughs> my computer crashed this shit that's true soundcloud.com mike t323 mike t323 um would you mind if i played uh, another track or actually so? i would because i wanted to ask you about the 30 for 30 project oh yeah um yeah 30 for 30 uh here let me play uh, another song real quick and then uh nah man i said no dog <laughs> <laughs> actually i'm trying to buy time while you load it up and shit okay um put it through well 30 for 30 that was a project i did this past june um uh basically that was uh 30 days in june so i went on a just a little want to do a project where i release a whole brand new track and worked on it in a single day so i release a brand new track every night for the month of june so 30 for 30 30 beats and a 30 beat project not all hip-hop though right no it uh it it really uh varied you know because i um go ahead and drop <sighs> the track what we're talking man because it was it was hip-hop house yeah it was all mainly a uh, hip-hop like generated like that's where i was trying to get most everything out there but um um, I took a lot of influence from like house and like I would put like house chords over hip hop or something hip hop beater, but um, what uh, you playing right now, bro? What are we looking at? This song right here. This is called a uh, Spellbinder. OGSPRadio.com, SoundCloud, Mike T three two three, Mike T three two three. But uh. With that, man, where's some of the artists you work with, or, or who do you look to work with, man? Um, right now I'm uh really heavily influenced by this uh show in uh Lincoln Heights. It's called a uh, Lincoln Heights at the Airliner. They throw it every Wednesday. It's called Low End Theory. Um, yeah, cats like uh DJ Nobody, uh this guy Daddy Kev, uh, cats like Flying Lotus would uh perform there a lot, and um, I really Actually, uh. I'm not taking away anything from them, but they actually had last Wednesday all members of the Invisible Scratch Pickles. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm not taking away nothing from those. No, no, no. That's saying, the, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> one of their DJs, uh, uh, DJ D Styles. He was actually a part of that that yeah. crew. But uh, yeah, they got down, and I was um, um, yeah, that's where I take a lot of my influence, just because there's a lot of, especially young artists coming up too, and. Uh, like this group called Team Supreme that I know, um, that have a lot of them have played there and flourished and come up from that. But uh, that pick up a lot of influence from just guys around the beat scene and SoundCloud and stuff like that. Well, keep up the good work, dog. Thanks for coming through. Uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> Give them the contact one more time. Uh, SoundCloud.com slash MikeT323. You can find all my links from Bandcamp uh, to the 30 for 30 project there. Uh, you can find my email, um, Twitter, 
YouTube. Got all my songs on YouTube. OGSQRadio.com. Stay posted. More interviews to come.